Morning, guys. Wow, why so new one? <laughs> Morning, guys. Today we are leaving Milford Sound and we are going to do this. At least that's how we know. Uh, that's how we pronounce it. Anyhow, how do you pronounce it? Dunedin. Dunedin is how it is said. Um. Do that again. Morning guys! Today we are leaving Milford Sound and we are heading to Dundin. So it's gonna be a five hours drive. So we're gonna rent it in a drive first and then I will drive later. We had a really good sleep at Milford Sound because it's so quiet and it's not that cold actually because I think the trees protected us from the wind. Um, yes, yeah, so how was your sleep? Lah? Not bad, not bad, not bad at <laughs> all. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna commit yet another day and another vlog to God and we're gonna pray for Journey Mercy. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful morning. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that our weather has been so, so great. We had a good sleep as well, uh, good breakfast as well. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you grant us Journey Mercy for the next five hours and uh, we pray that we'll just have a good time today. So we commit the journey and ourselves into your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So uh, we were on our way to Dundin right now uh, and we started to stop at this point. Actually we wanted to stop here on the way to Milford Sounds yesterday but because we were slightly rushing we didn't have enough time so we thought yes although we're slightly rushing right now to Dundin this place is kind of worth the stop. It's called the Egg Eglon Valley Viewpoint something like that. So uh, this is kind of how it looks like. Check that out. Woo! B you know what this place reminds me of? What? Remember we did our pre-wedding photo near the Lalang there? Yeah. Right, this place kind of looks like that, right? Looks like Clang. Looks like... <laughs> we don't say that, babe. We're in New Zealand and then you bring up Clang. So after five grueling hours, finally here at Dundin, we have arrived. And uh, we just checked into our uh, campground, actually. It's not the best. We don't have to show you much <laughs> because you've seen the best already. Yeah. Uh, but it's still not too bad, lah, okay? Phoebe and I, we wanted to try uh, fish and chips one. A lot of people say fish and chips in New Zealand is quite nice. So it so happened that the Lord blesses right behind our holiday park is a award-winning fish and chips. And it's two years in a row. Two years in a row award-winning. So we are here in front of it. Mm -hmm. So it says there, fish and chips open seven days. Looks very simple. It looks just like this. And of course seagulls are, they also want to eat fish and chips. So be what are your expectations, love? Very low. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, that's not where we went in, it looks like. And there's no one here. There's no one at all. But these are all hidden gems, right? True. These hidden gems look, look like this, so we shall see. Alright, let's go and taste it. Alright, just presentation wise, it looks very simple, like nothing much, lah, okay? And the batter actually looks very nice and golden. Oh my gosh, guys. Let's try this. I can honestly say it, but I understand why it's award winning. It looks very simple, but it tastes super good. Really? Okay. Mmm. Wow. Taste the same. Really good. It's, it's, it looks so unassuming, right, B? But it actually tastes super duper good, right? Man. Yeah, good old fish and chips. Good old fish and chips. I like that. Good old fish and chips. Alright guys, I'm not sure if seagulls eat chips but I saw them stealing one chip just now so I'm going to try to give them one chip and see how they react. Okay, come here. I'm going to give you a chip. Yeah. You don't want? Okay, yeah, I'll put here. I'll put here. I'll put here. You're safe. You're safe. I'll put there. Yep. There we go. Um, no more. Sorry. Sorry, Surah base. My side jaw. Good morning Malaysia! It is our second last day I think in uh, New Zealand and uh, today is our last day with the camper van so we're going to be returning the camper van later this afternoon Morning love! Morning. And today is my birthday! What? Today is very exciting guys I'm excited not just because it's my birthday but because today we're going to see alpaca! 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 Now you have no idea how much these things uh, excite me. Um, just try Google like Shamara Alpaca Farm, that's where we hit it. And you see the first photo that pops out. These guys they look so long for you and so it's very very cute. They, they, their face are very bobo. 
Are you ready to see alpaca? Alpaca! 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 Hey guys, so it's a little bit drizzly. Uh, well done to Phoebe for driving up here, but we are here at Shamara Alpaca Spa! Yeah. Woo! For your birthday, we come and meet your friends. We're gonna go meet some big boys first. Check out the newborn babies. The youngest one is just under three weeks old now. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go and bribe the girls and the older babies with some snacks. All right, fellas. R.I.P. Choose. <laughs> Warning. The following clips contain graphic cuteness that will cause you to be happy and make you smile. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, they're all waiting for us, really. Hello. Oh, they're wet as well. Yeah, they're all wet. <laughs> yeah, they're just bom bom money. Hey. 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 Oh my gosh, your eyes. Hello. You see the ears? They're propped up. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, this is Rising Sun. This is Rising Sun. Yeah. So he's okay. a top breeding male on the farm. Ooh. He's wow. 17 right. years old. Wow. And he's had about 250 babies. Oh, wow. this guy is productive, man. <laughs> zero responsibility. <Yeah. laughs> can I pet him? Usually over the food. Yes, you can hug him. Hi. His name is Harley. Hi, Harley. Aww. Hi. Can I give you a hug? Hi. <laughs> Hi. You just got rejected. <laughs> oh. oh, so dry. He's so cute. You come at the front of Ozark. Oh. This is Isaac. Ozark. 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 You like the cuddles? You don't sting at all. Hi, buddy. <laughs> you like to be cuddled? Stand behind one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Bri, I love this one. I want to adopt this guy. <laughs> I want to bring him home. Look at him. His name is Ozark. 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 Hi, Ozark. Hello. You want to say hello to the camera? <laughs> See? Well, he used to be really shy. Oh, this guy just photo 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 photo. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> B, you see this one got so much hay on his rambut. <laughs> this one thumb shake me. B, thumb you're so greedy. You see? You eat until so, so chomot already. Hello. Mm -hmm. He's looking right at you, B. It's like, who are you? Okay guys, the alpaca is pooping, that's why they stand like that. And then this guy is peeing. So when they're peeing, they lift up their tails. Like that, see the tail? And then he's peeing. And then this one just... This one just tapian. See, even the way they sit is so cute. See the tail. Bye bye, I'll see you guys. Oh, oh! <laughs> so cute! He's scratching himself, see this one another... Another chomot one. <laughs> B. Mm. I'm so happy. <laughs> They're so cute. I'm so glad you're happy. I love them. I love Asaka too. That's it, I'm buying one. <laughs> Alright, now we go and see. Baby Alpaca. Baby Alpaca. Hi. Oh my god. They look so Maybe cute. Sense. They look so bobo one. See their face? Mong kui kui one. See? These are only three weeks old. This is Harry. Hey, hey, you're very young, uh. don't be doing this kind of thing. Uh. Excuse me? So cute! I can feel the tongue! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I can feel the tongue also. <laughs> So many feeding from me. Okay, okay, I give you my, give you my. Wait, wait, wait. Here. Oh, thank you. You want some? Oh, goodness. Come. B, I feel so powerful. <laughs> oh, you want more, guys? Well, hello. I feel like they're gonna chomp on my hand in about two minutes. Yeah, it's chill, chill, it's here, it's here. I want the babies to eat. No. Wait. Wait, be patient, be patient. Be patient. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, this is so adorable. I cannot. I love this one. You're my favorite, my new favorite. He's like, yum 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 yum. Okay, I want to feed him also. I took a lot for you, Eddie. My third. Hiya. B. Oh no. Okay, bye, baby alpaca. Bye. See you baby alpacas, we love you. Hey, what's up guys? So we finally got to see alpacas, yes! Oh, I'm so happy. And uh, we've ended our camper van life. We have checked into an Airbnb here in Christchurch and this, let me just say, it's a very, very big upgrade compared to our camper van. I hope you guys are ready for this because the queen is already ready. Look at her. <laughs> First of all, baby, we're gonna take them to a tour. Uh, okay. Guys, is this the real life? Or is this just fantasy? <laughs> B, I got space! B, we have space! Oh my god! Then you have the bathroom! Oh my gosh! You gotta be kidding me! Look at that guys, my poor mic cover. Because of this okay, girl. Okay, let's go, let's go. Wow, oh, B, it's a proper shower. And there's a toilet, there's a separation. And then... Wow. The Yo. Room, Yo. And Yo. <laughs> and there is a washing machine and dryer as well. Guys. So cool. <laughs> washing and machine and dryer. have all these. Wow, <laughs> like so Oh my gosh, look at them. Pot. It's like ceramic pots on over here. Wow. Wow. Guys. Nothing. Guys, wait. And this. Does it work? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you guys. It's why we yeah, are making. Oven. Yeah, wait. I'll tell you guys why we're making this joke. Because in all the holiday parks that we went to, all these campgrounds, right? They got multiple of these. There's so many of these, but we never know if they work or not. So, for example, there could be like eight of these or like four of these, right? With like four tops. There's a good chance only like two or three of them work and I mean two or three individual ones, not even like the total one. So to know that we have all to ourselves is pretty darn amazing. Wow! Can we? Wow! Me! 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 Oh touch one touch our sentai got maple syrup some more. What a change from camper van life to this. Okay, now we're gonna prepare. We're now we're gonna prepare and we're gonna celebrate Brandon's birthday. Yay! See ya! We are taking Brandon out today for his birthday. Yay! Big oh. And uh, according to Phoebe, she says this place is not too bad. Yes. It's called uh, El... El Fogon. El Fogon. So it's an Argentinian grill steakhouse. Yes. So I can't wait to try. I heard a lot of good reviews on TripAdvisor and some of the locals here. Uh-huh. So... I'm very, very excited for you to try. Hola, hello. Hola. <laughs> See you later. This link. Alright, guys, our sirloin stick is here with mashed potatoes and wheat, cassava chips, and uh, how was this really? Lamb. Mm, but we're so hungry, so we're just gonna dig in. Let's go. Alright, my wife's face isn't too happy. 
And the reason is because uh, when I first ate the beef, it was slightly overdone, I felt. And, uh, we ordered medium, and this is, this is yeah, well done. This is medium well, too. This is well done. Yeah, this is pretty much well done. So the beef is very, very tough. So I, I think they kind of messed up the beef a little bit. The mash is not bad. The mash is very nice. This one sucks. Yeah, the lamb was saving grace. And we ordered one other size, but they actually forgot, or rather they forgot, they, or they didn't inform us that they have no more fish. So, they gave us these instead for free. Not free. I paid for it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But it's worth $7 more lah, right? Yeah, but they say it's okay. So, yes guys, um, hopefully this is gonna make up and turn that little frown into a big white smile. Alright guys, so verdict on the fried calamari. It's very nice. So this one is a pass. I think uh, it helps elevate our mood a little bit more. And next we're gonna try this. Oh, oh my gosh! Look at that! Look at that! Look at the cheese just falling out. Wow! So it's basically puff pastry, but inside. Inside just cheese, there's actually no meat inside. It's just this overflowing cheese that comes out and it's hot. So I guess that's the appeal. Is it nice? It's alright. I won't say it's mind blowingly nice. It tastes alright. Would I order it again? I probably wouldn't. The only thing I would order again is the lamb and the calamari. But it's okay. It's still a very good meal. And more importantly, good company. That is my wife. So yes. Hey guys, so we're finally back at our Airbnb. What a long, long day. But I just want to say thank you to my wife for spending my 30th birthday with me. I love you You're and welcome. happy birthday to me, I guess. I got to see our podcast, which made me really, really happy. And so it's been a very good 30th birthday, guys. So yes, thank God for 30 years of living on this planet Earth. Okay. All right, I guys, sleep. we're so tired. Our body is just supposed to shut down already. Mm. Can't even talk anymore. Okay, bye. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We love you guys. Bye. God bless. Ciao. Morning, guys. We are in our Airbnb right now. As you can tell, our our energy is a bit higher this morning. I tell you why, because we had a wonderful sleep and we're cooking breakfast right now. Uh, it's a bit weird because I can talk very loud now without being scared of bothering other people in a community kitchen. TV is whipping out some breakfast. Hi. Hello. Hi, love. It feels so weird, right? Like, I don't have to share space with you. I can cut my apples here. <laughs> you can be there. Yeah. And now uh, we can place our food on this on this table. It, it feels very weird right now. So today, uh, it's really very chill because we are flying back to Auckland and then after Auckland, we're gonna fly back to Malaysia. So we pretty much come to the end of our trip. But yeah, the reason why we're cooking breakfast right now is because we just want to finish up as much food as we can because we still got a little bit balanced and we don't want to just throw good food so we just want to cook everything away and we're already starting to pack everything and we'll just get an uber to the airport and we'll go to Auckland then we can say goodbye I'm gonna miss this Airbnb but I can run around see I can run here then I can run I can run I can run all the way to the door and then I can run to the bedroom oh. and then I can run I can run to the toilet Wow, oh, and then I can run, I can run, I can run back to you. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, breakfast is served. We got Milo, cherry tomatoes, mushroom, scrambled eggs, and bread. Same for my wife. And uh, I thought we ran out of Milo, but whoa, they got one big tin here. You know what? I'm gonna try this in powder form just to find out how different it is because people like actually eating the Milo powder. So I'm gonna try some of the powder later to see how it actually tastes like. Alright guys, so you heard me raving about the Milo from New Zealand and I can tell you it does taste very very good. But how does the powder taste like? Uh, I've tried the drink, the drink tastes much better and I think it's down to the milk. So this is a clean piece of spoon alright, I've just washed it and I'm just gonna dip the spoon into plain Milo powder like how Malaysians we love to do that and eat Milo powder right. So I'm just gonna take one spoon and I'm just gonna try and eat the Milo powder and see maybe where the difference is. Alright, I'm gonna lessen this a little bit because I'm scared to get salt or something. Okay, here we go. I honestly think it's the milk. It is super duper nice just eating the Milo straight out of it. I don't mind importing this Milo powder into Malaysia and then just setting up a stall to make Milo Dinosaur. 
but it's definitely the milk. I think the milk is very different and uh, it's richer, that's what it is. In Malaysia, it's almost like the Milo there is a bit sweeter, I feel, but this one, it just feels more thick, more rich and more creamy and flavorful. So, props to you. Milo Classic NZ Taste, the Milo Powder, it's a solid 10 over 10, guys. Super nice. Hey, what's up, guys? So, we're here in Auckland already. We, uh, we had a flight that was delayed, but we're back here right now in our hotel. It's just a small, tiny room. It's called Lilo. It's like a backpacker's hotel. Yeah. So it's our last night in New Zealand. Our final and our last night. So we're kinda... <laughs> but it's okay. It's our last night and because it's our last night, we're gonna go out and have a very very good makan together. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go to this place called Gasto at the Grand something like that. It's a little bit pricey but we thought, hey, you know what, it's the last night. Let's just go all out and uh, we're gonna end the vlog, the New Zealand vlog tonight as well because tomorrow we're gonna be flying back already. So yeah, so let's go for dinner and uh, let's have a good last dinner. Mm. <laughs> Guys, we had to Google like 80% of all the stuff that we saw on the menu because we just really didn't understand the uh, Italian words on it. But uh, this is the risotto we ordered. This is what? Uh? Mochi. Mochi. Oh, no, Mochi. G. And we just ordered one fried calamari which is super good. So now we're about to taste this. So this is more of their signature. Yeah. No chi. I try this as well. Yeah. You good? What's you want? I don't know how to chip. For hand up. Ah, L. For gone. Yeah, it's okay. That's for gone already. <laughs> what does the missus think? <laughs> So good. The mochi is so good. So good. I don't know if you guys so can creamy. see. So Yeah. But when you cheesy. cut the cheesy exactly, there's like cheese in the mochi, which is so good and it's all made from scratch. Mm. The risotto as well, they actually made it from scratch. And the fried calamari, the batter is very, it's very light. Yeah, very soft. Yeah, it's very soft as well. The squid is also very soft. Guys, this place is amazing. If you ever come here, we will highly recommend this place. Gusto. Gasto at the Grand. So we are back at the hotel and oh, this is a really bad angle for me. But never mind lah, everyone knows I'm fat already. Um, <laughs> yes, we are ending our New Zealand trip vlog. We're kind of sad because uh, we've had so much fun. Yeah, it's too <sighs> short. Two weeks is too short in New Zealand. If you want to come to New Zealand, it must be at least three weeks. Yes, a lot of people that we met, they were bit shocked when they heard just two weeks they're like huh only two weeks mm. so that's a big tip for you guys if you guys really want to enjoy when I say enjoy I mean like you're not rushing mm. or you're not like hurrying you know you're just taking your time to enjoy the sights and the sounds I would say three weeks would be ideal mm. question is will we be back again hell yeah yeah <laughs> I think there's no doubt about it we, while we were just traveling we we're thinking like of all the lessons that we've learned, all the things that we've sort of, you know, know that we'll do differently next time. So we'll definitely be back. I was really checking out quotations for like 2024 <laughs> uh, for camper vans. So yeah, you know, I think we'll definitely come back to New Zealand. Uh, we've learned a lot as well, just being traveling, just being tourists here. Yep. But it's been so, so fun, right, B? Yeah, it's been, it's so, it's such a different experience. It's so different. Yeah, you just have to like pack your stuff, clean your stuff, pack again, clean again, pack again. <laughs> then you have to like plan your meals mm -hmm. in advance, plan your routes. So yeah, it's been very, very fun. Yes, so this also marks the end of our New Zealand trip vlog. Thank you so much for watching guys. We hope you guys had a lot of fun uh, just joining us in our journeys. If you want to follow us, our IGs are down below in the, uh, in the description box. You can like, share and subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time. Bye!